What's up guys and welcome to another product feedback video. This video will be a general overview of what smart TV actually is. Because the term gets thrown around a lot and a lot of people ask what does smart TV actually bring for my television? Or if I'm looking to upgrade to a new TV, should I get one which has smart inside? Well, if you guys haven't seen it yet, Samsung actually has released a new range of TVs for 2013. There is a link in the description which shows their ads, so if you go check it out, please leave a comment saying that product feedback sent you. But what I will do is I'll explain to you using my current TV, which is a 2012 model. The 2013 has a slightly revamped interface, but the functionality is still very similar. So what does smart TV actually mean? Well, what it means is that the TV is connected to your Wi-Fi network. So first off, what you can do is you can actually access something called All Share. This is actually common even for non-smart TVs, but it's a feature nonetheless. If you go to All Share, it actually makes the TV as a DLNA enabled device. That means your network at home can actually see this TV. So using a app on your computer, you can pull files into that app and then stream those uh, files over the either Wi-Fi network or Ethernet network to your television. So it's a way of networking your TV at home. But what they're more pushing as a network enabled TV or what a smart TV in my opinion means is something to do with accessing internet channels over onto your television. So what do I mean by internet channels? Well, the way it works is very similar to how you have apps on your iPhone or on an Android or anything like this. You actually can go over to the Samsung App Store once you've logged on. This is the smart TV interface which you're looking at and download apps through their App Store. And these apps come from a variety of people and I've actually loaded a few that I like to watch myself. And in Australia, what's quite common is ABC iView and SBS On Demand. So for example, if we click into the ABC iView app, this connects over the internet to ABC. So this means you can stream channels and TV shows and things like that which might have been shown on TV or otherwise are only shown through the ABC iView app, such as Doctor Who or even The Checkout, which I've got to watch later on, which is a pretty cool uh, TV series. And what you do is you pretty much just click any show, you can hit play, and then that video will actually connect up and then you can start streaming that over your internet. The only thing you've got to be careful of is that this does chew up a lot of your downloads. So if you're using a 3G dongle, which is one of those USB sticks, you can't really have internet uh, connectivity on this TV. You need to have a home Wi-Fi network or a Ethernet network hooked up to the TV, uh, TV. It's just not fast enough with the USB dongle. So as you can see here, the clarity is pretty good and it loads up pretty quickly. I've just got a standard ADSL2 connection at home. And that's one example. So you can install the ABC app and you can watch things through ABC. You can also use SBS, like I said, which is another app which you can use. And then the other option is you can install some other stuff like Al Jazeera, Crackle, Ustream, uh, Ted. These are just a few apps that I use. Even YouTube, you can load up your YouTube account and watch your subscriptions through your television so you can have that in the lounge and, and catch up on everything that you're watching that way. One pretty cool thing is actually Foxtel now does streaming over smart TV. You actually have to pay a monthly subscription for this, but you can actually watch Foxtel TV um, through the television itself. You can do some other cool things apart from just apps and streaming TV shows. If you've got a Samsung phone or I think even a few Android handsets, you can actually send pictures and videos from your phone directly to the TV as long as it's connected into the same Wi-Fi network. So there's a variety of things you can do. Alternatively, you can also access video content from Samsung store, so you can buy and rent movies and it'll stream over the internet onto the television. And they incorporate some other things here like social, social TV, Kids Corner, fitness. There's a whole variety of different things. But as I, as I like to call it, it's pretty much just like having apps on your TV. But the whole point and the way they're designed is to lean back, use the remote and flick through different channels. 
You can also surf the internet. It does have a browser on here, so you can look it up. I did notice flash sites don't always tend to load up, so it doesn't really work with flash, but flash is a dying breed and websites really should switch over to HTML5. Um, if there's something specific you guys want to know about a smart TV, because it's actually not really complicated, but a lot of people haven't really seen this before, um, and I hope you guys appreciate that, but definitely if you've got a question, leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. And yeah, so if you guys enjoyed this video, give this video a massive thumbs up. This has been Muhammad with Product Feedback, and peace be with you.